going to preface this video by saying that this won't make you any better at Smash Bros. And to take a line out of Breaking Bad... There's nothing but chemistry here. Okay, so first, in order to make any calculations, we're going to need a standard unit of measurement. And according to Fox's Wikipedia page, he is 5 foot 8, or approximately 1.73 meters tall. However, we can't go on that alone, so to make sure that this game is accurate, Mario's official height is around 5 feet tall, or 1.52 meters. And to calculate how much under Mario's hat is actually his head, I compared screenshots from Mario 64, where one has Mario with the hat, and the other has Mario sans the hat. Now to see if our scale is accurate, we should be able to fit that 0.2 meter difference between Mario and Fox around 8.5 times into the full Fox size. When we check it ourselves, it only takes 6. So our space is around 0.28 meters, meaning that our scale is inaccurate. So instead of giving up, we'll make our own measurement, a Fox McCloud, or abbreviated as FM, which is equivalent to the height of Fox. So now we can measure anything, such as Final Destination, which is 8.5 FMs long. And now, from here, we can calculate practically everything we want to in FMs. <laughs> But before we do that, we must establish a few basic things about Smash Bros. The first thing is that most of the fighting takes place in only two dimensions, which we'll call an X and a Y plane. But there is, in fact, a Z plane that can be seen once we pause and we pan around, we can see there is left and right um, in regards to the character. And then it can also be seen during spot dodging, where the player dodges incoming attacks by going into the Z plane. And perhaps the most important fact about Smash Bros and the main focus of this video is gravity. And in our universe, gravity affects all bodies equally, meaning that if you don't take into account wind resistance, a brick will fall as fast as a feather. However, this isn't true in Smash Bros. So if you ask a first grader which will fall faster, they'll set a feather. So if Sakurai followed that logic, Marth would fall faster than Fox. But that isn't true. However, weight still has some correlation to fall speed in this game, as Mart still falls faster than the lightest character in the game, Pichu. So to round all that up, gravity is wholly unique to every character, with only a slight relation between fall speed and weight. Again, in our universe, gravity is a form of acceleration on an object, and on Earth, that acceleration is 9.81 meters per second squared. So let's say an object from rest falls for 2 seconds, its velocity will be 19.62 meters per second. And we can find that out using this formula. The VF means our final velocity. VI means the initial velocity, which is 0 since we're starting at rest. The A means acceleration, which is 9.81. And the T is time, which is 2 seconds. Now we will find out the gravity of Fox in Smash Bros, but that's only if his gravity is a constant acceleration, like it is on Earth, rather than being a constant speed, which is also a possibility. But that's only because it's a video game that it could have stuff like that. To start us off, the height of the ledge to the blast zone is around 14.5 FM. Fox starts his fall at 49.86 and ends it at 48.40, which is a total of 1.46 seconds of fall time. From here, we can analyze this fall, and if we slow it down, it takes him 10 milliseconds to fall from the second marking to the third. I excluded the first because that isn't in his exact start position. Timing at a lower point, we again see that it only takes 10 milliseconds to fall 1 FM, so that disproves that in melee, gravity is a constant acceleration, rather making it a constant velocity. From there, we could find out Fox's falling speed, which is 10 FMs a second which makes sense since he only fell for 1.46 seconds, and the total fall height was 14.5 FMs. There is, however, a very, very small acceleration period at the height of the jump or the beginning. There is an aspect that affects fall speed, and it's called fast falling, and it greatly increases the character's downward velocity. So now we can calculate Fox's velocity while fast falling. We're going to start from a higher ledge here to make sure that we start fast falling before the first marking. And here we can see it only takes 1.1 seconds for Fox to fall a total 14.5 FMs. Since we know his speed will be constant, we only need a simple proportion to find out how fast he's actually falling. And once we do that, Fox's fall speed is only 13.18 FMs per second. So that makes fast falling for Fox around a 32% increase in speed. Now Marth, on the other hand, only increases about 25% when you compare his regular fall to his fast fall. 
And then Captain Falcon has around a 40% increase in falling speed. So that all means the increase received from fast falling is different for every character, or at least the three characters that I tested. To sum everything up, gravity in Melee is very different to gravity on Earth, but there are some common aspects such as what we call terminal velocity. Like I said before, characters do have a very small window where they are accelerating, but that is too small to call constant. Rather, we can say that the characters ex reach their independent terminal velocities very quickly. With any experiment, there are some experimental errors, and in this case, we don't always have the same fall angle, meaning that the characters don't fall perpendicular to the ground, so that might make the timing off a little. And also, I didn't test all of the characters, so there might be some other anomalies that I didn't find out. But for the most part, this experiment has been pretty accurate in determining how gravity affects characters in Smash Bros. Thank you for watching, and if you liked this video, I'd probably make it into a series where next time we talk about knockback and the difference between spikes and meteor smashes at 0% and how they depend on the speed of the character downward. And also, I can make it even further and talk about the speed of Luigi's Misfire or any other thing you want to talk about.